I started Avishkar with a belief in 2001 and it's part of Avishkar IntelliCab Group which, uh, which has been trying to build an entire entrepreneurial ecosystem in India and then now looking at East Africa as well as Indonesia, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka where we want to seed businesses that actually not only make money but also make a difference to the lives of the people. So the 17 goals look very exhaustive but essentially if you try to look at it uh, what they are trying to do is make a poor person reach the same kind of facilities that any individual aspires, you and I probably. Uh, so when we are working for it, we are trying to create businesses and enterprise that actually work for the poor, with the poor, in trying to build businesses that includes, so they either create jobs, employments, or reduce vulnerabilities, like provide housing for them, provide local education, low cost uh, healthcare, and these kinds are all dovetails into what sustainability development goals are all about. So every work that I do is actually feeds into one or the other of the sustainability development goals. And we believe that the private sector role, therefore, is very critical in making that difference. So I think uh, you, when you are dealing with millions and billions of people, uh, you cannot but work with the government. You cannot walk away from the government. Uh, one of the two things that have created this artificial divide is because generally the private sector has believed that the poor is a, is a challenge to the government and not our challenge. But as the world is changing and as we are, re we are realizing that if you want to build your own businesses and keep them sustainable, keeping the earth sustainable, making a difference in the lives of people and keeping them happy and make the world a more inclusive place is actually going to be a very critical component of making businesses work. My early conversations here actually very clearly indicate that there is a fairly significant interest in the use of capital to make impact. Now that's actually a conversation that has never, never been done by large funds. So it's an emerging new thought process. Abraj, I think, is a leader uh, in that sense that they have actually tried to bring the idea of impact core to their philosophy of investing. We have been doing it for 16 years. And to me, it is actually amazing to be in a place where a significant amount of capital is talking about making a significant impact. <laughs> <laughs>